Tonight, KXAN's Amanda Brandeis caught up with moviegoers who until earlier this evening were still buying tickets for next week's release. Hello, who this? This is the Secretary of Communication for North Korea. It was supposed to make people laugh. I will be traveling to Pongyang, North Korea to interview President Kim Jong-un. Word spread quickly after Sony pulled the plug. The idea that hackers now, and whether it's in the future or now, can bring down a motion picture company is startling. We're becoming a country that's afraid to take a lot of risks. I, I thought it was really brave that they were going to do such a, um, you know, kind of politically dangerous movie. Uh, I thought it was really cool. Others say creating the film was reckless. I honestly couldn't believe that it had gotten past the proposal stage. How did they even put the money into making this movie? It just seems ridiculous to me. The Galaxy Highland was scheduled to have an advanced screening of the film tonight. They canceled it earlier in the day prior to Sony's major decision. Moviegoers are split on whether they would have seen it in the first place. No, heavens no. I was going to see the film, absolutely. No. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't sound like my kind of movie anyway. But they hope it's not a sign of what's to come for more movies down the line. Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. Well, this isn't the first time North Korea has been cause for concern locally. In March of last year, this picture of Kim Jong-un looking over military strikes and plans showed apparent targets on a map of the United States. It appeared one of those targets was Austin. At the time, locally based Stratfor, a global intelligence company, theorized it was an older map created when President George W. Bush was still in office.